This is the energy vibration lesson for um, the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say to all you Gemini's out there, newcomers, old subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the wonderful support and the help that you have bring in for myself and this. I want to say thank you so much. Um, please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising and for all the people that have reached out for a reading i'm sorry i was in the process of uh, um, moving and i was having the flu so please forgive me for your readings not being delivered but they're going to be delivered during the course of this coming week as i'm feeling much better i want to say thank you to each and every person and happy halloween on tuesday of this week the 31st of october it's going to be halloween so enjoy don't overdo it not too much sweet sugar it's not good okay so we're looking at this week and this week is a, is a positive week in the sense that it has the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is a fire sign whatever your situation was or is there is something better that is on the horizon because whenever we have the energy of the wheel of fortune it's going to be good it is supporting you in this week and we have the zodiac energy of water so we have fire and water you or an air sign so there's a lot of energies that are coming in in this week hurt energies which is going to help you your um, which is going to help you in this week you have um, the hurt sign beginning the week then you have the fire then you have the fire then you have water on Thursday on Friday you have the five of swords whatever the conflict that you were in you did not win it but it has ended and then on Saturday, we have the energy of the Ten of Wands. An end is coming to whatever situation you were going through. And then on Sunday, you have the Ten of Cups. So whatever negative thing that was happening in your life, finally on Saturday, it comes to an end. And on Sunday, you are seeing the changes and the difference. There is the Ten of Cups. So this is wonderful. Whatever has happened on Friday, you have ended that you decided um, it's not going to to here and no further and you are seeing that this is plain how to your focus it is the energy of the king of Pentacles please use the positive side of the king of Pentacles because um, someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn um, is going to help some of you out this person um, could be coming in your life to help you move some obstacles or whatever the situation whoever that you have been having um, a situation with whoever has been creating obstacles whoever has been working against you okay this person can be be aware because uh, not everyone vibrates on an eye energy vibration that means not everyone is positive not everyone is going in something because uh, um, they are really wanting to help you they could be just getting involved because they want something out of it so be aware of this okay all right um let's see what is happening for you guys you have twice the number 10 so there's a lot of new beginnings that are is going to happen um, whenever the, the energy of the number one comes up it's a positive energy because it is ending something and moving on to something on and Saturday whatever um, burdens you have been carrying on Saturday it's gonna finally finally end and then we are going to have on Sunday the ten of cups which is a good a happy um, family set in security in the family and that sort of a thing the number 10 and the number four you have the energy of the number 10 on the number four the number four energies so the four of ones is celebrations your house a good situation the four of cups is you having regrets over certain things and Friday you're going to realize that you have lost the battle it is okay you don't have to win every battle you just understand what is happening so this week is a week of um, 
positive in some sense because what is happening for you Gemini so let's look um, what is going to happen for you Gemini's 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 justice seems to be coming out okay we have change and the two of Pentacles for some people we have changes coming in um, the changes could be um, changes in your financial situation some t and, and I'm getting the feelings that some people are going to be getting changes with certain circumstances and issues that has been happening in your in your life and it can be changes uh, with the person who is going to come in and help you which is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but let's go on and let me see what is happening on Monday you have the energy of the nine of Ozard it's the nine of Pentacles this is very good it's impulsive um, there are people conflicts um, the five of ones there's conflicts so it's as if um, there is some money that is supposed to come to you but people are having conflicts over it it's as if they don't want to give it to you but you know the universe and this is what I'm gonna ask the universe right now whatever the situation that is happening for whoever out there that this money is supposed to come in but yet still these people are having conflicts I am calling up on the universal angels and guide for divine intervention so that these people will um, receive this money because this money was supposed to come to you a very long time but people were lying and blocking a situation and not speaking the truth and trying to hold it back and now the universe is going to step in and release the money to you so expect news that this money it will be coming in this is going to be good as we look at Tuesday we have the energy vibration of the seven of ones the seven of ones energy is always that you're protecting yourself from look at these hands and these are the hands and you're standing over a body because it's Halloween people happy Halloween this is Halloween it's Tuesday the 31st of October and it's Halloween and you are trying to protect yourself and this is a good 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 message for Tuesday because what is happening is that for the people who are celebrating Halloween, it's going to be a frightening night, but dress up and be who you want to be because I'm going to be doing the same thing too. It's the one time of the year that you can be the freak who you want to be. <laughs> so it's Halloween today, darlings. So whatever the situation is, you are trying to protect yourself from something and then you're having a little sorrows. And this could be that someone out there wanted to uh, a certain a certain thing and they didn't get it and you're trying to protect yourself so that people do not invade on your privacy because I, I've realized that a lot of that is happening I realize that people have no respect for other people's privacy it is totally ridiculous I had a situation with someone the other day that I'm thinking really I just reported them because I think that was so disgusting and um, I think that people should realize that not everyone especially Capricorn people and I think the earth sign people they have they like to have privacy and it's not that we have anything to hide but I think if we choose not to want um, people to in um, to, to get in our lives and uh, um, people not to know your address and your information I think you have all uh, you know people should respect it you know once the government knows who you are and what you're doing then it is okay but for the rest people should other people should respect your privacy now I had somebody who was supposed to come in and do something in my apartment and this man arrived without him. Um, he says oh uh, you canceled your thing and then he arrived at my apartment and went, I'm like no who are you what's your name you know so um, people there's some people who are very rude and 
you need to protect yourself and I was I got so upset I was like having this sorry thing that I left him in because and I'm asking his name and he doesn't want to give his name and I think there's just some people out there who don't realize that people likes to have their privacy okay I am someone I don't like people to be in my space especially if I don't trust you if I don't um, trust you enough to be in my space I don't want to deal with it because it's a karmatic situation I don't create karma I clear other people karma okay so think about this in this week another wonderful energy that you have on Wednesday which is ground in your week is a good um, stable balance so a lot of people will feel comfortable in their own skin in this week it's going to be a positive week for a lot of people because you're going to finally find yourself back you uh, people who have moved and uh, um, you know trying to settle in their new environment it's going to be wonderful it's going to be very balanced whatever that was happening outside like people trying to get in your life people need to have respect and you need to say to people right now I need to have time by myself and you know you need to just hold the ground because you need to find yourself in balance. Whenever you are in balance, everything around you will balance. So obviously the tower came in and it's like, no, the universe is saying no. You need to leave this person or leave the situation so that people can be having balance. Because sometimes people are, you know, sometimes people want to invite themselves over to your house. Say no. If you have something to do and you, you know, you need to do some stuff and you need to bring your own energy in balance, say no. People can hate you for that. And if they hate you for that, they weren't your friends in the first place. We're looking at another four, which is so good. So you guys have two, twice, ten, and twice, four. So it's going to be four, ten, one, one, four, ten, forty-four, and eleven. Okay, those are your numbers. So let's look at Thursday Thursday seems to be a wonderful day for a lot of people you have the four of cups you're very bored okay whoever you are out there and you're bored and you're thinking I want to be in a new relationship I want this I want that think of what you have now and be gracious of what you have do not jump out in something else okay because someone there is a woman or a man out there that is in a relationship and is feeling very bored they're thinking of someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and they want you know they miss this person they want to be with this person they're in a relationship that they're not feeling happy with get out call the person let the person and know I really miss you you know I miss your um, being around you say it so if you don't say it then someone won't know but do not sit in this relationship that you're not feeling comfortable in call that person it is a Taurus a Virgo a Capricorn and trust me this person always once you're loyal to them they will always be loyal to you okay as we move on we have the energy vibration on Friday we have the five of swords and for you Gemini some will win the battle some won't it is a battle of love whatever the situation is on Friday it is a battle of love you, you know maybe you're not going to win the battle some will some won't but what, what is happening is that the ace of cup new love is coming in and this is going to be wonderful because there's obviously someone on Friday that is going to show you even though you haven't win the back the battle you are still being respected and new someone new is going to come in and help you and you know show you a way out and this is going to be good okay there are going to be people who are going to be um, Ex extending their uh, feeling of love towards you and you are going to be very connected to this person and this you they're going to help you okay on Saturday we have the ten of ones on Saturday um, it's the end of a burdensome situation that you have been carrying and for some people it's a burdensome situation in relationships 
for some people it's a burdensome situation that you were trying to protect yourself and finally you have moved or finally you have um, extract yourself from um, some place that was not healthy for you or some people that was not healthy for you and you're trying to bring back balance in your life it is going to happen because you have the king of cups this person is going to be there for you the energy of the king of cups is going to come in and help you to release this burden that you're carrying so the king of cups is going to be a wonderful person who is going to be protecting you in whatever endeavor it is and this is good because the king of cups and you um the king of cups always and that is the pisces the kansas or the scorpion pisces Cancers or scorpion are always protecting you, um, Gemini's. So on Sunday, another thing, congratulations. Whatever burden you were carrying on Saturday, it's all over. You have the energy of the Ten of Cups. This is wonderful. Joy, happiness, justice again came in, whatever the situation is. Um, for you air sign justice is coming in and it is helping you out and whatever that was unjust whatever situation that has taken place um, I'm seeing and there was a situation with um, people and um, you know husband and wife separation kids is involved and this sort of a thing and finally um, justice came in and it's as if someone took away someone kid and finally in this week they, they, they you know justice is going to realize the injustice that has happened to this person and going to reunite the kids to this person so you know it's, it's as if you know someone your husband lied and the kids were taken away and in social service and that sort of a thing and now um, you know the justice system realized that your husband lied so you know they're going to return your child to you that's sort of a situation or you can see your child or whatever is playing out but whatever is happening um, and most of the time especially when there is a legal matter um, the judges and so they always look over your thing on a Sunday and then they will see oh my god this was injustice and they will make their decision like on a Sunday a lot of people always said why is it justice uh, sometimes on a Sunday because that is when you are looking over your work It's like on Sunday it's a nice quiet time you can look through situation you can put the puzzle together and that's when it's going to happen for you guys so let's look at this so Beginning of the week, there is going to be, beginning of the week, we have worries. You're trying to protect yourself. Tuesday is Halloween. Happy Halloween. You're trying to protect yourself. You have regrets. But yet still, um, money is going to come into you. Whoever that was trying to block your money for whatever reason, the universe is going to say, hell no, it's not happening. You need to release this money to this person. Okay. Because most of the time, cause people are quarreling about, um, quarreling over money and it is, you know, a decision that is trying to be made, but this decision is going to be made because justice is going to come in. Okay. The king of pentacles, the king of um the king of uh, um uh water which is a pisces a cancer or a scorpion is going to help you with whatever the situation is okay because your whole crowning of this week is stable the tower came down break whatever that was going on and finally stability is going to come in your life so this is going to be an extremely positive week no matter how you look at this week um, in every situation where there was a form of unbalance, especially in your house, especially in situations that happen with you in your house, in organization, in schools, in your workplace, that sort of a thing, the tower is going to come and just break that down and then you are going to see positive energies. As we move on and we look at the second half of the week, um, the four of cups comes up, someone is in a relationship that they're very bored in someone is missing their former relationship someone is missing someone who is a princess and this is someone who is 
a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn if you're missing that person call that person let them know okay let them know that I really appreciate you and I'm missing you so much let them know people will um, open up especially the earth sign people they are very positive people whatever the situation was with a child a situation that was injustice it's going to be in balance and new love is going to come in your life because people are going to open up to you and realize what has happened to you and they're going to try to bring and even if they even can't heal it, heal it for yourself because whatever is happening it's going to be good it's a week of bringing balance in your life basically it's a week of bringing balance in your life okay because of it is Halloween I am using the wisdom house of the night so let's ask the angels what or the wisdom of the house of the night what is it for the Gemini's uh, for you Gemini's you have strength so this week you need inner strength you Gemini's and you're going to find that inner strength because the universe is going to bring you that inner strength and um, three and five is eight and you have another hate here so um, you know whatever is happening the number eight energies are very good because the infinity universe is helping you to bring forth and border some stuff in your life the energy of strength comes up and it said sometimes life will um, present you with challenges that you think are too difficult to, to endure but know that no challenge is too difficult to endure does it seems as if nothing goes your way and that everyone else appear to be having a good time be strong my dear drawing the symbol means that no matter what is happening in your life you have the strength to endure all the experience like an ancient oak whose trump cannot be unrooted by the night storm you will know a strength that can come within you will win this game of life you have the strength to face any situations now so I've always had I've always 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 tell people this it doesn't really matter how challenged life seems to be trust me you will win the game if you're up for it you will win the game because I'm telling you all of us have these challenges all of us whether in a challenges or out of challenges all of us have these challenges I am using the message from the universe and we have uh, Eve um, ever notice how when someone dreams of happiness abundance health um, romance or relationship they have never wondered if it's in their best interest whatever someone dreams of a special house employer love interest deadlines um, dollar amount or date fading they often end up contradicting themselves keep your ends endurance generally everything else is just a how so this is the back of your card and this is the message on your card come back look at this read this and understand that you have the powers within you to change your own outer world and your inner world dreams of happiness and abundance health wealth or friendship they never have to wonder if this is in their best interest but when someone dreams of a special house employer love interest deadlines dollar amount or diet fade they often end up contradicting themselves this is a wonderful message to leave you guys with and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for being back this has been a wonderful journey uh, please listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and I'm saying namaste until next time